Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, week three, day 18. It is Sports Saturday. It's around 10 a.m. Uh, whether you're watching this live or at a different time, we are in our 18th day of camp, and we perform a different uh, movement, skill, or activity six days a week, and we take a rest on Sunday. So make sure that you tune in to the other camp videos. Just check out our YouTube page at Virtual Fitness and Health on YouTube. All right, so our warm-up today, we're going to go through our upper and lower cars, our controlled articular rotations, and we're going to go through some dynamic stretches that some football players might do before a game, and then we're going to perform some football skills today, and then we're going to play some bocce. So if you have some socks, that's all you need for bocce. And if you have a shirt, that's all you need for football. Now, if you have a football, a soccer ball, a volleyball, any type of ball, you can use that for, the, for these activities during the football skills. So it doesn't matter. I even have some other options like tennis balls. Um, I even have mini golf balls that you can use. You could even use some cat toys. Okay, so it really doesn't matter what you have as long as you have something that you can grasp. Then we're going to play some bocce, so all you need are two rolled up socks, uh, two different colored socks hopefully, uh, one being the target and one being what you're going to try to roll. All right, and we're going to go through how to roll and then targeting for five different trials and you're going to mark your own score down. Okay, so we're going to start with our warm up, then we'll go through our dynamic stretch, football skills, bocce, and that will be our cool down. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, so whether you're seated or standing, what I'd like you to do is just squeeze your fist, okay? If you're seated, you're just sitting in a chair just like this, and what we're going to do from here is just bring the neck down. Remember, if there's any pain, I'd like you to stop or skip the exercise. We're going to rotate, look over the shoulder, look at the wall. And then look over that shoulder up toward the sky, all the way back. Look over the other shoulder, squeeze your fist, squeeze your core. And then look all the way down, all the way to the other side. Keep rotating, keep rotating, bend into the side, extend back. Rotate toward the other side and flex into that other side. Okay, now we're going to rotate two times the other way, flex, rotate. Look over the shoulder, up toward the sky. Look over the other shoulder, squeeze your whole body. One more rotation of the neck. Rotate, look over the shoulder, all the way up toward the sky. Over the other shoulder, and flex down. Go ahead and shake it out a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Remember, inhale 360, relax your neck and shoulders on each inhale. Try to inhale and exhale through your nose and try to exhale longer than your inhale, okay? Now we're gonna perform a thoracic car. So whether you're seated like this or standing, we're gonna try just to move the upper back. So we're not gonna bring the hips back. We're just going to bring the upper back down. So giving yourself a hug. If you have your football, you could even squeeze that right now. And we're going to rotate, bend into the side, extend back, rotate toward the other side, flex into that side, and all the way around. Keep rotating, keep rotating, bend, extend back, rotate toward the other side, flex into that side, and all the way down. Let's go ahead and rotate the other way. Bend, extend rotate, bend, and flex down. One more rotation all the way, bend, extend, rotate, bend, and flex down. Good. From here, what we're going to do is perform shoulder cars. All right, so whether we're seated or standing, we're going to try to create a circle the best that we can while we're seated. And if we're standing, same thing. Let me get my clock going so I know where we're at. 
All right, so whether you're seated or standing, you can do a foot stance position if you want, opposite arm forward, reach all the way up, hold here, or you can stand just like this, whatever you prefer. You're going to squeeze your core, squeeze your opposite hand, you're going to reach back, rotate that arm so the back of the hand is next to the side, hold here, and then extend back, unwind all the way up across the body and down. One more, squeeze the fists, rotate the arm as you reach back, so the back of the hand is next to the thigh, the thigh. reach back, unwind all the way up across the body and down. Go ahead and switch side, whether you're seated or standing, reaching all the way up, creating a big circle the best that you can, even if you have to bend the elbow, that's fine, but try not to. Back of the hand next to the side, try not to bring your head forward, Stand up nice and tall, squeeze, unravel that shoulder all the way up across the body and down. One more, squeeze, control, rotate as you extend, make a big circle, and then reverse it, rotate and up and across. Okay, so that would be the glenohumeral. Now the scapula, go ahead and bring the hands down next to the sides, just like this. If you're unable to do that, you can bring your hands across your chest, just like this. What we're going to do is just work our shoulder blade here, or our scapula. We're going to create little circles, moving only the shoulders, blades, or the scapula here, the wing bones of the back here. So noticing that nothing else is moving, try not to move your head, and try not to bend your elbows. Keep everything nice and tight here. Elbows are straight. Pretend like you're holding $100 bills in your armpits here. And then from here, we're going to go all the way down, back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, and down, and up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward. Good job. Elbows, bend the elbows at 90 degrees, okay, and then go ahead and straighten them out. Palms are facing forward, whether you're seated or standing. You can be out front like this or like this, so whatever works best for you. Squeeze the biceps, the triceps, squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, chest, back, core, thigh, legs. Everything is nice and tight. And then from here, we're going to bend the elbows. Pretend we have 100 pound weights in each hand. And then turn palms down and push down. Open up. Squeeze up. Palms turn. Push down. And then from here, squeeze up. Bend. Turn the palms. Extend, turn the palms, bend, turn the palms, extend. And then from here, bring the hands in front of the elbows at a 90 degree angle, whether you're seated or standing, okay? You can be kneeling as well, whatever works best for you. From here, what we're gonna do is just bring the fingertips down. Try not to bring the fingers in toward the midline or the stomach, Keep them in front of the elbows. Trying to point those fingertips down. Pretend we're putting some paint on the tips of those fingers. And what we're going to do is create a big circle with our fingers. So don't go up. That would just create a line going up. We want to go all the way around. So we're going to create a big circle going around, let's just say, a coffee mug. All the way in. All the way all the way up, 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 out all the way down, all the way in, all the way up, all the way out, all the way down. Let's go the other way, out, all the way up, all the way in, all the way down, out, up, in, and down. All right, this timer, this is the timer gives me the most trouble. 
All right. So now what we're going to do is perform some spinal segmentation. So whether you're seated or standing, or sorry, if you're seated, it'll look like this. You're going to round back. You're going to articulate just like this. Okay. If you're able to go on the hands and knees, we're going to go into the cat and cow. Round the back, tuck the chin. Hold here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then from here, from the hips hinging down, low back following to mid back to upper back, all the way to head and neck. And then low back all the way to upper back. And then head and neck, shoulders, mid chest, low back. And then see if you can segment low back all the way to the upper back. Good. From here, if you're seated, what you can do is perform some hip axials. So going all the way out, holding it for about five to 10 seconds. And then going all the way in, holding it for about five to ten seconds. Or you can swing, not swing, but controlly, control that hip into external and internal rotation while you're in hip flexion here. So those are your two seated uh, variations. If you're able to go on the ground, if you have your ball, you can use that as a setup for your head. What you can do is get in uh, a fetal position, bring your hands together. And then we're going to open up and then we're going to control and create a big circle with that knee all the way around and knee will touch the knee and then all the way back all the way up all the way around and forward let's go the other way out and around rotate all the way back and around knee touches knee and then extension back and around all the way forward and down. Go ahead and switch side. Okay. Squeeze the fist here. Flex that hip forward up toward the elbow. Abduct the hip. Internally rotate as you extend the hip back. Create that big circle with the knee. Keep the knee bent. Knee touches knee. Extend back. Open up forward and knee touches knee and then all the way up keep the knee locked and bent full rotation back make sure you go in hip extension and then repeat hip extension open up keep that knee bent forward and down all right so if you're seated for this next one you're just going to perform some knee cars in the seated position okay if somebody can help you during this time, that would be great. If you are able to go into a seated position on the ground and give yourself, give your leg a hug, what you're going to do is squeeze the hands together and turn that leg out. So the foot will go out, the shin will go out, hold here. And then from here, what we'll do is extend the knee, turn the leg in, and then bend. Out, up, in, and down. Out, up, in, and down. Let's go in and up, out, and down. In, up, out, and down. From here, hold on to that same shin. If you're able to create full circles with your ankle, go ahead. If you need some help with that, you can do that with your own hands or have somebody help you. But what we're going to do is try to create big circles with the ankle that causes no pain. Tracing as big a circle as you can. Think you're tracing a clock. Now go ahead and trace a clock two rotations the other way. All the way around. Good. If you're barefoot, I want you to bring your big toe all the way up toward the sky and the small toes down and now bring your big toe down small toes up and then piano those toes down big toe up small toes down 
big toe down, small toes up. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Give it a hug, turn the foot out. Go ahead and extend, in and bend. Out, up, in and down, in and up, out and down. In, up, out, down. Let's go ahead and get the ankle, pull onto the shin, point the toe down, big circles. If you're able to control that yourself or if you're able to get help and somebody can move those ankles in a circle for you and go ahead and circle the other way. All the way around, two giant circles, go slow, and use all those muscles. From here, go ahead and bring just the big toe down, small toes up, small toes down, big toes up. Switch, big toe down, small toes up, and then piano down, all toes up, piano down, piano down. All right. Now we will get into our football skills. Um, we are going to start with our dynamic stretch, and then we'll get into uh, some football skills. If you want, you can hold on to your football or your whatever you're using. Remember, if you have a shirt... You can just hold on to the shirt if you want to during this time. You don't have to hold on to anything, but if we're going to focus on football, you might as well get as many touches with the football as you can. If you don't have a football, but you have something like a soccer ball, even an ultimate frisbee. And remember that first sports Saturday, I created a sock ball with some tape. So... There are many different options you can choose from. And I'll put those over here. All right. And if you want to use a cat toy, uh, what do we got here? Bean bag, a tennis ball, a golf ball. You could also use those uh, materials as well. But if you have a football, obviously you're going to go with the, the number one team in the NFL right now, Buffalo Bills. So, um, you know, Super Bowl champs. It's coming this year. All right, so we're going to start our dynamic stretch. Go ahead and get some water before we start. Might need to cool down from all the football celebrations the fans are going to be doing this year for winning so much. All right. So we're going to run in place. Or we're going to punch. All right, so if you're punching here, you can go just like this. Or we're going to run in place. Okay, so go ahead and run in place. Run in place. Keep going. If you want to go in a circle, you can. Go ahead and switch the hands. Hold it in the other hand. Run in place. Or you're punching here if you're seated. Or you can be marching in your chair. Keep going and stop. All right. Lateral or wiper. So if you're seated, we're just going to go side to side. If you're standing, we're going to go side to side just like this. Okay? Just like this. Good job. All right. I know. We started too early. All right. Go ahead. Go. But you, want, you might want to control that ball, so you might even protect it as you're going side to side. You might be going through a hole. You don't want that ball to get hit out of your hands. Hold on to it tight. But then you might have to catch it in the air. You might be a receiver. You might even catch it with one hand. And a couple more seconds, and relax. All right. Lunge. Uh-oh, these are going to be tough. Or what do we got there? Sometimes I can't read my own writing. Lunge or taps. Okay, so we're going to tap just like this, or we're going to march for this next one if you're seated. If you're able to, 
we're going to perform a lunge and then we're going to try to lunge again with the next leg and then we're going to stand up and turn around okay so just a two lunges we're going to try right leg and then left leg okay if that doesn't work you can just do a giant step just like this okay you just do a big giant step so up to you if you can get that knee down performing some dynamic stretches some lunges okay or you're tapping the ball or we're marching and relax all right shoulder press so everyone can perform this one we're just gonna you can squeeze the ball with your quads here and we're going to just perform a shoulder press if you're standing same thing squeeze the ball there and we're just going to go straight up straight down trying to straighten those arms overhead just like that okay here we go reach all the way down reach all the way up so whether you're seated or standing just all the way down all the way up Just breathe here, you're reaching all the way up and pulling all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. One more, up and down. All right, the next one, uh, woo, I'm already skipping. We got kicks or scissors. So scissor, we're gonna go like this and you can switch hands after 20 seconds, scissors with your arms or you can do kicks okay so we can do a touch the ball to the opposite foot just like that okay so you're either performing some kicks or some scissors or you can just perform some reaches maybe you're just going for the knee here so you can always adapt it okay just reaching you might not touch the foot, it might look like this, that's fine. If you can, try to go all the way up there, touch. And you could also do some knee taps as well. And relax. All right. Now we have butt kickers, or if you're seated, what you can do is some knee flexion iso hold. Or you can perform one at a time. If you want to, you can also perform some scapular cars while we're seated. Okay, if you're standing, we're going to bring those heels to our glutes just like this. Keep going. Five seconds and relax. All right, now if you're seated, you're gonna perform an ISO hold just like this with the ball. ISO hold and hold, or you can go side to side while you're seated, or you can perform a karaoke while you have the ball in your hand. So you don't need a lot of space, but you want to protect that ball and put it in the other hand. You do the same things. Make sure you're rotating and relax. All right. Now, we are going to perform a skip or uppercut. If you're seated, uppercut. Or you can march while you're seated. If you're standing, we're going to perform a skip. 
We're going to skip in a small circle. Trying to get that knee all the way up. Hold that ball tight. Put it in the other hand. Keep marching if you're seated. A couple more skips. And relax. All right. Now we have our step back, single arm reach, or good morning. If you're seated, go right hand forward reach all the way up for the first 20 seconds, and then left arm forward reach for 20 seconds. You can change up the split stance if you're here like this, make some more room for the legs. If you are standing, we're going to see if we can reach out front just like this, come back out and go two hands just like this, or you can go one leg. So you can challenge yourself two, two feet, one leg, and then make sure that you switch legs each time. Okay? Single leg or single arm reach. Go ahead and switch if you're seated. You can go alternating as well. And relax. Good job. All right. Now we are going to perform some knee cradles and some knee pulls. So we're going to hold on to the ball with one hand and the opposite leg we're going to pull up. Okay. If you're seated, you're going to perform an arm uh, cross. So what we're going to do is you can hold on to the ball like this. You're going to wrap the arms around just like this and then switch and then switch. Okay. If you're able to stand, we're going to pull the leg up just like this, switch the hand holding the ball and pull the leg up. So we're doing some knee pulls. Now I want you to try to do a leg cradle. So we're going to pull the foot in, and then we're going to switch. Pull the foot in, and then switch. All right, and relax. All right, now we have a bear crawl and some rope pulling. So if you are seated for the bear crawl, what I want you to do is just squeeze the football just like this. Or if someone can hold on to your hands, what you're going to do is a push and pull with someone while you're seated. If you're able to bear crawl, you can let go of the ball for now. We don't need the ball. Um, or you can try to see if you can keep the ball on your back, which might be really hard or impossible. All right, so what we're going to do is bear crawl, okay? And if you can, we're going to see if you can bear crawl with your knees off the ground. And we're going to only go for about 20 more seconds here. We're just going to see if we can crawl around in a circle, or we can go forward and back, or we can go side to side. Just try to stay in a square here. Just trying to keep those knees off the ground and relax. All right, the next one is pulling rope. If you're seated, we're going to pull this way 20 seconds, and then we're going to pull this way 20 seconds. If you're standing, we're going to get in that split stance lunge position and pull. We're going to lean forward, pull, and lean back. Lean forward, lean back. So whether you're seated or standing, you can go forward and back. And then go ahead and switch. We're going to turn, face the other way, pull, pull, reach, lean, and pull, and relax. All right. Go ahead and get some water. We're now going to get into our football skills. All right. Big inhale, big exhales.
All right. So grab your football. First thing you might want to do when you get a football or tennis ball, hacky sack, a mouse, a sock, or even a towel, for instance. Whatever we, want, we have, we want to be able to manipulate it without dropping it. So there's some things that we can do that can enhance the skill, like going around the waist as fast as you can. And I want you to challenge yourself by going as fast as you can, so fast that the ball slips out of your hand. Now, we don't want to cause any destruction, so make sure you don't go so fast that you break anything. But at the same time, I want you to challenge yourself and try to control the ball around your waist. If you have a shirt, you're just going to do the same thing. If you have a shirt, you could use a tennis ball for this. You could use a rolled up sock. So you don't need a football, but I'm going to demonstrate with a football. All right, so we're going to go around the waist. Just like that. Now go ahead and go around the other way. If we're seated, we're not able to get the ball around the waist here. What we can do is we can go around the head. So everybody go ahead and go around the head. We also call these halos. So you have different options here. Going around the head. This is also a good dynamic shoulder exercise that you can perform before a workout. Other way. And you could also add weight with a medicine ball during your halo. So if you are able to go around your waist, go around your waist, or you can go around your head. So either or. Now we're going to go ahead and time ourselves. When I say go, you're going to go around your waist, that's one, or around your head, that's one, and you get one point. Okay, so we're going to see how many points you can get in 10 seconds. Okay, you're going to see how many you can get in 10 seconds. All right, I want you to remember that number, write it down, or videotape yourself and see how many you can do after this. All right, here we go. When I say go, you're going to go around your waist as fast as you can or around your head as fast as you can in 10 seconds. You're going to count how many you can get. On your mark, get set, go. Stop. All right. How many did you get? Show me on your hands how many you got. Okay, I got 10, maybe you got 5, maybe you got 6, maybe you got 4. Good work. Now we're going to try uh, either around the head or around the waist. This time I'm going to go around the head and we're going to see how fast or how many we can get in 10 seconds. All right, on your mark, get set. Go. Stop. Woo! I got the same amount as I got around the waist. How many did you get? Go ahead and give me your number. Put it in the air. How many you got? Or write it in the Zoom chat or Facebook. All right. Now we're going to go around the ankles. Okay. If we're seated and where we can go around the ankles like this, it's going to look like this, okay, or you can go like this, or we're just going to draw a circle around the body, okay. If we're able to stand or kneel, we're going to get low, we're going to almost get in a squat position. Okay, and we're going to rotate around the ankles. Now, if you get lightheaded at any time, what you can do is modify this position by um, going around in circles standing. So if you feel like you're squatting and you're getting a little lightheaded, then you can stand up and just perform some circles. Okay, so these are always your options. Now, here we go. We're going to challenge yourself. We're going to try to go around the ankles. And stand up. Try to go around the other way. And all the way up. 
All right, now we're going to see how many circles you can get standing like this. Again, if you're getting lightheaded, you can always sit down in the chair, okay, and perform the circle seated. Now, if you feel like you can go around those ankles, I want you to challenge yourself and go ahead and try that. We're going to see how many we can get around our ankles in 10 seconds or how many circles we can get. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready. On your mark, get set, go. And stop. Woo! All right. Now I'm going to challenge you. How many did you get? Put your number in the air. How many you got? Okay. Now we're going to see how many big circles you can get just like this. You can go either way. Okay. All right. How many circles can you get in 10 seconds? On your mark. Get set. Go. Big circles and stop. All right, how many did you get? Okay, you can tell me how many you got. You can write it in or you can put it on a piece of paper and take a picture of it later. All right, now we are going to spin and catch. So if you're seated, we're gonna see if you can just spin and catch the ball, just like this. Same thing if you're standing, I want you to see if you can spin and catch the ball. Now, whether that's a tennis ball, a sock, or a shirt, I want you to try to spin the ball that you have, spin the hacky sack, spin the mouse, spin the sock, or if you got the football, spin the football. Okay? Just trying to catch and spin, just getting a feel for the catch. Now, if you're going to go out and do some catching with a friend after this video, which is something I will recommend for homework, is that you're going to go outside and perform at least 50 passes and catches with a friend, and then also create two plays on offense with a quarterback and receiver. So hopefully you can get out and play some football today after class, or you can continue the bocce outside where there's a lot more space and get some vitamin D. Now, I only recommend staying inside for so long each day. Make sure that you go outside and walk two to three times a day or just get outside and get the great weather in. All right, so for the next arm or for our next skill, we're going to flip and catch. So go ahead and try to flip. Okay, now if your ball doesn't flip, go ahead and spin. So this is a flip or spin. So you can repeat what you were just doing or you can try to flip. All right, flip and catch. Okay, so sometimes when they punt the ball, the ball will flicker just like this, depending on the kick, or sometimes a ball gets deflected in the air from the quarterback, and you have to catch the ball, and it's gonna be flipping, and you can also go ahead and twist it, flip it, and you can try to um, put your own mix on things. So try to make it uncatchable. Okay, so try to make the ball and catchable, whether you're seated or standing. Try to make the ball and uncatchable and then even practice trying to catch it with just one hand. Okay, practice. Oop. See if you can play some ball drills where the ball taps in the air and just go back and forth or you can be seated. Woo! Yep, it's going to happen. Fumble. Don't want to fumble the ball. All right. So next one, we have set hike. So this one, you're going to just pretend that you're setting. You're pretending that you're hiking the ball off to your quarterback and turning into the quarterback all at once. All right. So old school rules where you just set hike, bring it back. And then I want you to pretend that you're going to throw it, okay? So you're going to, if you're seated, you can try to reach forward. I say set. You can go hike, bring it back. And then I want you to pretend throw, okay? Just like that. If you're standing, we're going to say set. So you have the center here who hikes it to the quarterback. And then the quarterback takes it. They either throw it 
or they hand it off to the running back. But we're going to just pretend that we're the center and quarterback all at the same time. Okay. All right. Ready. Set. Click. Step back. Pretend that you're going to throw. Make sure that you point out. You step with the opposite foot and throw it through. Okay. Just like that. All right. Let's go ahead and try it again. Set. Click. All right. Let's try it again. Set. Hike. Let's try it again. Set. Hike. Let's try it again. Set. Hike. All right. Now we're going to hand it off. We're going to pretend that we're handing the ball off. So whether we have a soccer ball or a rag, we're going to set hike. And we're going to pretend that we're handing the ball off. We'll go to the right. And then we'll go to the left. All right, if you are seated, we're going to hand it off here or hand it off here. You're going to go left to right. That's if you have a soccer ball. If you just had a rag, same thing. Hand it off, hand it off, loaf of bread, whatever you got. So here we go. So we're going to say set, hike, and then you're just going to pretend that you're handing it off. And then you're going to switch side. Ready? Set, hike. All right, switch side, set, hike. All right, let's try the other side, set, hike. All right, let's try the other side, two more. Set, hike. Last one, other side, set, hike. All right, good job. All right, next one is the stiff arm. Okay, the stiff arm is uh, a brutal part of the game where you can push the defender away from you as you're running so that they don't tackle you. So it's almost like a self-defense. So as you're running, you can actually use your hand to stiff arm people. So we're going to pretend that we're running around, or if you have a ton of space, you're going to go ahead and run around in your space. Or if you are um, in the seated position, you're just going to go ahead and scan your blocking scene just like that. Okay. You're going to push away, push away, push away, push away, okay, and then switch arms, all right? So here we go. So we're just going to bring that arm out, push people away, push people away, push people away, and then switch, push them away, push them away, just get ready for it, push the other way, switch hands, switch hands, switch hands, circle the other way, and switch hands, switch hands. And relax. Woo! All right. Lateral shuffle, okay, or tap. So if you're seated, we're just going to go side to side, or we can go lateral shuffle just like this. If you're standing, we're going to do quick feet side to side, just like that. And then I want you to switch arms. And switch, 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 switch. Ooh, gotcha. All right. Quick feet or drums. If you're seated, you're going to squeeze the ball in between your legs. You're going to practice your drumming skills. Or you're going to perform quick feet. Option three, quick feet, just like that. Ready? And go. Quick feet. Breathe. Switch hands. Stiff arm. Switch hands. Stiff arm. And relax. All right. Now, down and up. Oh, this one's going to be tough. All right. So if you're seated, you're going to press. You can also go down and press just like that all the way down all the way up. If you're standing, we're going to bring the ball down, all the way down to the ground, stand up, take the ball, and stand back up. So we're going to put the ball down, step back, go all the way down to the ground, and then we're going to push up, take the ball, 
and stand up. All right, one more, all the way down. And then you're gonna stand back up, take the ball, and stand. All right, if you are seated for this next one, you're gonna rotate and hold, isometric rotation hold. Or if you're standing, um, we're gonna perform a spin. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that we're running and then we're gonna perform a spin, okay? So be careful with this one. Or what you can do is just spin in a circle where you are, okay? If you want, you can add in a forward run after your spin if you have enough space. And relax. Woo! Don't get too dizzy. All right, the next one is going to be forward and back or push and pull. If you're seated, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull with the ball. Squeeze the ball as hard as you can, push and pull. If you're standing, we can go forward and back. Okay, forward and back. Sometimes you have to back up when you're running. Hopefully, you don't have to. And then sometimes you have to go forward most of the time. Switch hands, squeeze that ball, squeeze that ball, both hands, switch arms here, both arms, oh, hold it like a baby. All right, now we have fake throw. We can go back to our fake throw, we're going to bring the opposite arm out and pretend that we're throwing. Okay, we're going to bring that arm to a 90 degree, okay, we're going to whip that arm across and follow through, opposite arm is out like an L here, okay? All right, so we're going to, if you're standing, we're gonna step back, I want you to fake throw. Okay, if you have a soccer ball and you don't wanna let go of it, you can do a, a fake throw in with two hands, okay? So two hands if you have a soccer ball, one hand if you have a football, I want you to pretend that you're throwing it at target. Okay, now go ahead and switch hands. Oh, I know, a little bit tougher now. So go ahead and switch arms. So you almost got to think, how do, I, how do I throw with my right hand? I'm not used to throwing my left. So making sure that you're stepping and you're pointing at your target, following through. Okay, and then go back to your dominant hand. And if you want to go back to your non-dominant, definitely need to focus more on your non-dominant. All right. Scissors. So if you can, we're going to see if you can go around the thighs just like that. Or if you're seated, we're going to go scissor arms. You can go up and down or you can go in and out. Okay. So if you're able to stand, we go under the leg, or if you're seated, try to go under the leg as well. Underneath the leg. Breathe. And relax. Next one is the figure eight. If you're seated, we're gonna perform a figure eight just like that, okay? Or, if you're seated, option two. And if you're standing, option three. Okay, we're gonna go around those legs one at a time. You can go slow, you can go fast. All the way and relax. All right, our figure eights are done. That was our football skills. All right, so for homework, what I'd like you to do is take those football throws with a friend, try to get 50 pass, uh, completed passes with a friend today after class, and then set up some play designs where you have a quarterback and receiver, and one of you is throwing it to somebody who is on the run going toward a touchdown. All right, so that would be your first game that you can play. All right, now we're going to get into bocce. Go ahead and get a sip of water, and we're going to go ahead and get started.
All right. So for bocce, all you all you need are two objects. Can be anything: socks, laundry, tennis ball, soccer ball. Um, really anything. Okay. So I'll give you examples. You could use a mouse, and I could use this hacky sack, and I could find some space, back up. You know, try to challenge myself and then see if I can get each of these objects to touch or even land next to that mouse. Now I can use all these objects. So you can use as many as you want. I'm going to use sock here. Okay. And I'm also going to use a plastic golf ball. Okay. A little bit harder. So I want you to find some objects at your house, okay? And we're going to perform five trials. <clears throat> I want you to have three different objects at least. So one can be a shirt. Um, you could have three different socks. You could have, th you know, three different mouses. Uh, you could give all the mouses different names. But you need to have three different um rolling devices or throwing devices, whether it's a shirt or a sock or a mouse. So I'm going to use a bean bag. I'm going to use a sock and I am going to use a tennis ball. Okay. Those are going to be my three objects. You don't need three objects. You only need one. Uh, I really just recommend a sock, but if you have any of these objects, you can use them. Okay such as a tennis ball, uh, a mouse, but I'm going to use the mouse as the target. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a target, which is going to be the mouse for me. So I'm going to throw the mouse somewhere, and then I'm going to decide where I'm going to throw from. So I'm going to find five different points in here. I'm going to set up five different points in the gym or in your house that you're going to throw from, okay? And we're going to decide where we're going to set the target. Now you can do the opposite. You can set the target somewhere and then build your options, but we're going to go ahead and place our target first. We're just going to toss our target toward our first marker, and I want you to find five different spaces. So I'm going to use one corner of the room over here. I'm going to use another corner of the room over here. I'm going to use a front corner of the room here. I'm going to use a front corner on the other side over here. And then I might do one right at the back middle. Okay. And what I'm going to do is place this on the far side. And I'm going to set up to my first hole here. So I'm going to find a place. In the corner of a room, I'm going to take my objects and I'm going to try to toss those objects as close as I can to this mouse. So we're going to start playing now. So this is our first trial. Our first trial, find one, one pocket of space in your room. You're going to start there and make sure that you have different things that you can use like socks or a um, bean bag. So if you have a hacky sack or a little mini bean bag, I would recommend that. So let's go ahead and try. Okay, now you're going to write the object that gets closer. I have a tennis ball, a blue sock, a gray sock, and a hacky sack. All right, so I'm going to throw each one. And whatever one gets closest, I'm going to write on the board. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and start at home. I'm going to start here. Here's the hacky sack. All right, not too close. Here's the tennis ball. i got to be a little bit careful. All right, here's the gray sock, and here's the blue sock. All right, so the blue sock wins. All right, so go ahead and write down your results. What object was the closest? So that was the blue sock there. Okay, now find a different area in your room or your gym, whatever you're using. We're going to find a new target. I'm going to go to this corner of the room, 
and we're going to put the mouse right here, okay, right on the edge. I'm going to go all the way over here, even move this out of the way, and then I'm going to toss from here. All right. So when we're tossing, and I let you do a little, I let I let us do a little bit of self-exploratory first, but let's go ahead and go over rolling. Remember, rolling, you can bend and roll. Now, in a small area, you might just be tossing, right? You might not have to lunge, okay? If now, if we were outside and you were throwing it very far, you might have to lunge and throw and take a couple steps back if you're playing bocce with real heavy equipment. Now, since we're using tennis balls and, and socks, it may be a bean bag or a hacky sack, you only have to lightly throw. So let's go ahead, find your second trial, okay? I'm gonna start with the tennis ball. You go ahead and start at your house. All right, I'm gonna start with the tennis ball. Now tennis ball, I gotta throw extra light. I'm not really throwing it, I'm just kinda of dropping it. All right, that didn't work out too good. Here's the gray sock. Uh, not too bad. Here's the blue sock. And here's the hacky sack. All right, so the hacky sack won. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and write those results. Hacky sack is next. All right, what were your results? What, are, what color socks are you using? Maybe if you had four different color socks, that would be perfect. Okay, next one. We're going to be throwing from that corner, so I'm going to put the mouse right here. Find a new spot, trial three. Okay, I'm going to throw from this back corner. All right, you're probably not going to be able to see me. I'm going to start with the tennis ball. I'm going to go for a drop approach. Not too bad. Hacky sack. A little short, gray sock. Almost blue sock. Wow. So it looks like we have, it looks like it's the gray sock. All right. So now we have the gray sock. Wow. All right. So we have the gray sock has got, got the closest score there. So gray sock there. Okay. You could also give points for second place if you want. All right, now we're going to go ahead and find a new corner of your room. Put the target opposite to that. And we're going to go ahead and aim. All right, you're probably not going to be able to see me. I'm going to start with the gray sock. And then I'm going to go with the hacky sack. And then the tennis ball. And then the blue sock. All right, so it looks like it looks like the blue sock is the winner again. So the Buffalo Bills, they do it again. The blue sock wins. All right, all right. Now this gray sock or this hacky sack has to do some work here. All right, so last one. Find a. Oh yeah, we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna put this right here. Find a new spot, last trial of bocce with your socks, whatever you're using. I'm going to go back to this corner. I think this would be the toughest shot. Here we go. I'm really going to try to get this tennis ball to touch that mouse. I have to really be careful here. Nope. Hacky sack. Nope. Blue sock. All right, gray sock. Oh my gosh. Blue sock wins it again, but forgot to tell you. The blue sock was the Bills, and I already told you that they were the champions. So that was your cool down slash fun game. Hopefully you got to play along. And you realize that the Buffalo Bills 2020 Super Bowl champions. All right. So that's it for today, everybody. Um, I recommend going outside, taking a walk. In about five hours, go for another walk. Wake up tomorrow morning, take a walk. 
walk, 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 perform those cars, all the body parts, go over all the videos, especially Mobility Monday if you want more mobility in your life. And um, make sure if you haven't seen days 1 through 16, you go back and watch. Or you rewatch in the summer and you try to stay on pace for the next month. So my goal for everyone that is completing the camp is to continue your exercising and your walking and your water drinking and your good sleep habits and your health habits and your wellness, giving yourself compliments, helping each other out, and also uh, focusing on your breathing to lower your stress levels. So if you have any questions, please let me know. That's going to be it for today. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you and have a great day.